Hello, and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing a game called Cursed Enigma in the Midnight Apartment, a first person horror experience where I'm going to be playing as a man called Franco settling into his new home in an old Italian village. If you want to settle into a new home in an old Italian village, the links in the details are of course down below in the description as usual, alright? I hope you enjoy it. If you do, leave this video a like, leave your thoughts down below in the comments either way though, alright? This is Cursed Enigma, the Midnight Apartment. And that really sounded like a Silent Hill sound effect. <laughs> Alright, here we are then. It's August 8th, 2011, 6pm. Hold on one moment. There you go. A little bit of movie magic, the VHS filter's gone, and I think this looks a little bit better. Right, so, uh, we're not leaving. <laughs> We've got to go to apartment 5. Alright, guess it's not one of these. Hmm, all right. This place gives me the creeps. It's, uh, yeah, it's giving me the same kind of vibe, honestly. Right. There don't appear to be any numbers on any of the doors, which is not good. Maybe apartment five is in here somewhere? Although probably not. Oh. <laughs> well, to be honest, I might be sleeping down here if I can't find it. <sighs> right. Let's see then. So it's, it's not these ones. And now I've walked into a car park. This can't be right. No, I can't be through the shutter. Pizza? This must be Italy. Right. Yeah, okay. There are there are apartments above me. I'm probably up there somewhere. Exit this way? Really? Can I leave? Did you hear that? Was there someone running around? There's apartment 5 down there. Hmm. It's very, very dark. I think I am meant to have a flashlight. But I think I'm you know, I'm carrying two things at the moment. I don't think I can pull it out. Maybe I'll come back a little bit later. Yeah. Right, okay. I'm thinking we should probably go upstairs. Don't you? I think that's a, a pretty safe bet at this point. Apartment 5. Come on. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, we've got a number at least, finally. Alright, this is three. Okay. And this is one. Alright. Let's see then, what we got around here? Would this be like two or four? Okay, this is four. Something down here. Some sort of poster? Puppet show, does that say? Okay. That's the end of that though, unfortunately. What about that one over there? That's probably going to be two, isn't it? Let me just go check. Yeah, that's two. Okay, so I think we're one floor up. Let's see. Alright. One of these, maybe? Okay, so this is seven. Five. Here we go. Apartment five. And the keys are under the doormat, apparently. Alright. Just move that out of the way, and there they are. Brilliant. Okay. Alright, we're in. Home. Sweet home. Hmm. I'm so tired. Better leave things on the table. Okay. Not very welcoming. Love the damp patches. Uh, I'd better empty my things before it gets late. It's a very small box. This is everything? Uh, oh my. These clothes are a disaster. But Aunt Tina told me about a washing machine. I love you, Daddy. Right, I think Franco has recently got divorced, which is why he's, uh, he's moving into this, well, shithole, essentially. Right. I don't know what that is. A can? Here are the clothes, though. Right. Okay, so a washing machine. Uh, alright. Okay. Uh, let's see. Here we are, then. Okay. What about the toilet? Ah, it works! Fantastic! I'm starving. I can put that disgusting soup in a bowl and quickly heat it up in the microwave. Well, if it was disgusting, why did you bring it? <laughs> Surely there's a better option. So this is soup? Right. We need a bowl. Gonna grab one of these? Ah, there we are. Okay. Okay, a bowl of disgusting soup. And in it goes. Alright, let's see. Anything else around here? No? Can't open the fridge or the cupboards or anything quite like that. Hmm. Do I want to eat this or not? Yeah, I guess I do. 
I can sit there and enjoy the soup while it's still hot. What, like sit on the floor? <laughs> on this bag? Hmm. Well, there is one seat crammed in the corner. Right, I guess, yeah. Okay, I'm going to be cramped here. All right. Have I got a spoon? Am I <laughs> or a straw? I don't know. Either way, it does seem to be going down. And done. Right. Nutritious and not delicious. Oh. Ah, the washing machine's done. These old houses have clotheslines outside on the balcony. Okay. Right. Oh, okay. Well, I've got the clothes. Fantastic. Let's have a look at the rest of the place. I think that's the rest of the place. <laughs> Pretty small place by the looks of it. Uh, looks like I, I should be able to go to sleep, but maybe not right now. Let's deal with these clothes first, right? So, outside on the balcony. Okay. Love the bugs. Alright. There we go. Oh, hello. Mario! Uh, hi. I'm Mario from Apartment 3. How are you? Have you just arrived? It's a pleasure to meet you. Come over to my place for a drink. I'll welcome you with a good whiskey. Oh, that's something, I suppose. Friendly neighbour. Okay. So, you've just got divorced, huh? Tough story. You'll miss your daughter a lot. This Lucia really seems like a bad person. You did well to leave. Do you like the paintings? I painted them myself. I find in art a reflection of what the soul can't express in words. Every staircase is an ascent towards the uncertain unknown. It's up to you to see the light or the darkness. See you soon, neighbour! Right. Are they all the same? Strange individual. What will you find in those stairs? Better go home and sleep on it. Right, okay. Where's home? This way? Uh, no. I'm actually going deeper into his home. And there's another one. Right, okay. Is that a doll? There's a doll. Odd. Okay, right. Yeah, I should probably get out of here. This is this is weird. You're weird. <laughs> so, yeah, sometimes it's ladders, sometimes it's stairs. I think oh, Scala, Scala. Yeah, very, very similar words in Italian. Okay, right. So, yeah, let me just close that door for you. Um, let's go back up here then. Oh. Hello? What the fuck's going on here? Another one of the neighbours? Dr. Guido. Oh, I'm so sorry. Do you live here? I'm Guido. I'm an entomologist. I study insects. I lost a Hercules beetle a few days ago, and I managed to find it just now. You're new, right? Would you like to see my collection of insects? Not really, no. But I guess I didn't say that. Aren't they beautiful? They're extraordinary animals. Sometimes, I think I'd like to be one of them. <laughs> Are you enjoying it here? Yes, this building's full of strange people, don't you think? <laughs> See you soon, then. Next time, I'll show you how my necrophagous beetles eat mice. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. You know, there's a few bugs outside you'd probably like to capture. Disgusting! How can they live with all those bugs in the house? I better go to sleep. Today, I don't want to meet anyone else. No. Okay, I guess we're not going that way. This way? Right. Just, yeah, close the door. And, and I don't know, barricade it, maybe? <sighs> right. Okay. There's no one by the door this time. No one seemingly breaking in. Alright. Okay, then. So, to sleep? Is there a light switch around here? <laughs> Doesn't seem like it, unfortunately. Ah, but there you go. Now I can actually pull out my lighter. Okay, well, let's put it away. Don't want to burn myself as I sleep. There we go. It's been one hell of a day. All I can say is I hope this place was cheap. Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> Someone taking photos of me? It sounded like a camera. Did I just sleep on through that? I. Oh. Well, someone's knocking on the door now. Knocking at this hour? Who could it be? Right. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Maybe I was dreaming. Maybe I wasn't. I'm not sure. Oh, hello. Svetlana. Wow. They already replaced him. This package was meant for Eduardo, the previous tenant, but it ended up with me. By the way, do you know what happened to him? Lately, he seemed to go crazy, always talking about strange presences, feeling watched. I don't know how he feels. By the way, do you know what- <laughs> By the way, deja vu. That paranoid guy owes me 10 euros. Anyway, I don't know what to do with this package. You can keep it. Maybe he'll come to pick it up. Right. Another box? What's inside? For now, I better leave it on the table. Right. Thanks, Svetlana. Right. I'll never manage to fall asleep now. In the meantime, I'll get the clothes back. They should be dry already. Right. Okay. Yeah, let's go do that. Alright. Here we are then. Missing underwear. Something's weird. Something's very weird. Right, yeah, this is uh, this is not a good place to move to, is it? It's all dirty. I can throw this trash bag down in the yard. Oh, okay, right, hold on. I thought you were talking about the clothes then. Right, okay. Uh, so down in the yard. You know what? I actually I actually think I know where I need to go, because I, uh, <laughs> I was thinking maybe I'd be sleeping there if I couldn't find my apartment, right? So, all the way down onto the ground floor. And into the, well, I guess the bin store, right? Yeah, over here? Hmm. Okay. More weird neighbours? Marcello, right. Franco, welcome! Your aunt informed me that you'd be arriving. This is Antonietta. Say hello to our guests, sweetheart. I hope you're settling in. For anything, don't hesitate to ask. See you soon, my old friend. Oh, and Franco, remember to pay the rent. Will do. What the hell are you guys doing? Alright. This is weird. Let's see what else there is to do at home. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's just ignore all the new neighbours, because they're just weirding me out, honestly. You know what? Hmm. Now that I've got this and I can pull this out, I'm very curious about the uh, the dark, dingy basement that seems to be around here. Let's go take a look. Alright. Okay, let's see. I can use it. Oh, it's locked. Okay. Oh, of course it is. <laughs> hmm. Alright. Is there a reason this is here? Am I going to have to, like, try and escape via that basement or something? I don't know. I feel like, you know, things are just going to get weirder and weirder. At some point, I'm just going to have to leg it. I don't really need that anymore. Do I hear a meowing? Hmm. Oh! Oh, right, it's... Oh, no. I left my door open, didn't I? Right. Hang on. I... Oh! <laughs> I wonder whose cat this is. Oh, it's got... It's got eight on it. Apartment eight, I assume. Right, close the door. There we go. Hopefully there's no more cats inside. Eight. Uh, this is seven, isn't it? Yeah, okay, so eight should be this one around here. Okay. I didn't knock, I just let myself in. Hmm. The door's open. Yes, it is. Can't use that one. Oh, there's more cats. Oh! <laughs> Jessapina! Oh, Marilu! Thank you so much for bringing back my beloved cat. Since Silvestro disappeared, I've always worried about my poor creatures. You're Marcello's lieutenant, right? He mentioned that Eduardo would be leaving. Poor Marcello. After his wife's death in that mysterious incident, he's not the same anymore. He has to take care of Antonietta, his daughter, all by himself. Dealing with that poor girl's syndrome is not easy. I always pray for them. 
Anyway, thank you very much for what you've done. You've just arrived, but I already know you're a good guy. Have you heard about Mrs. Uh, Luciana's shadow and puppet show? It's in the apartment next door. Go check it out. It should start soon. Is that what we saw the poster for? Right, strange lady. She spoke of a show in the adjacent apartment. And I should probably excuse myself, shouldn't I? Yes, okay. So, the one next door? Number seven? Hmm. Weird, weird place. Yeah, I, I think this is it. Again, right, do I not knock? <laughs> okay. How's it going, guys? Oh, these dolls. Right. Is this for me? God, this is weird. I would not be doing this. Oh, it's Limbo! <laughs> okay. Hmm. Oh, you've cornered her. Oh, or have you? Oh, it was a trap. Oh. Wow. And that's why you don't chase girls, I guess. <laughs> Alright. Short and sweet. <laughs> Alright. What a disturbing show. And everyone's here. This is really, really weird. Okay. It's late. I better go back to sleep and forget about this strange day. Right. Okay. Yeah, I should probably start locking my door as well. No one around here keeps theirs locked. I, uh, I might start that trend. Was this here before? Maybe it was and I've just noticed it. Hmm. Right, okay. Can we close this door? We can't, actually. We have to leave it open. Right. What? Who plays the piano at this time of night? The sound comes from the adjacent apartment. Oh, for fuck's sake. There's always something, isn't there? <sighs> right, who's playing the piano? The adjacent apartment? So what, the, the one next door? Number six? Oh, finally! I knock! Hello? Someone's in there. Who are you? What happened to Eduardo? He doesn't care if I play music during the night. I'll stop playing immediately. But please, don't knock anymore. Is that okay? I'm really sorry. Nothing happened. I won't play anymore. Forget about what happened. Okay? This building's full of crazies. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't disagree, but honestly, I, she was just playing the piano and she thought her neighbour would be okay with it. Right, close the door. Lock the door. Can we do that? No? I don't think we can. Right. Now, let's try yet again to go to sleep. What? <sighs> the moment I used it, a door opened. Which door, though? My front door? Another apartment? Okay. I'm in a bit of a daze. I... Someone's there again. This is not a dream. Someone's sneaking into your apartment and taking photos. What the? And then they just legged it out. Right, 2.17am now. What the fuck? Right. Are they still here? Or did they actually leave? I don't know. Behind the shower curtain? No. How's this? Was this here before? Oh. Okay, July 25th. It's 2.37 at night and the anxiety of being spied on persists. Every noise, every shadow fuels my paranoia. I feel constantly observed, convinced that someone's following me and taking secret photos. The sensation's overwhelming, and every corner of my life seems to be under scrutiny. I repeatedly check behind my shoulders, trying to escape this invisible eye. Who could it be? I have strange suspicions about that peculiar old man who only paints stairs. I'm not convinced. Right. 
Is it him? Right, okay. Well, there you go. That must have been Eduardo's, right? I wonder if there's any other notes that he left me. Oh, what the fuck? Is anyone there? What the- Whoa! Oh, I can't see anything. The lights went out. Right. Thankfully, I do have my lighter, though. Right, close the door. Close the door. What's all this? How to find hidden cameras. Oh, shit. Right. Something here, too? Uh, hello, Eduardo. I've placed the book you asked for, How to Find Hidden Cameras, in your mailbox. An unusual request. I hope everything's okay. Additionally, I have included the key to the basement as per your request. To locate it, go to the end of the courtyard, turn left, and you'll find stairs leading to the basement. If you need anything, I'm at your disposal. Best regards, Fabrizio. The condo administrator, apparently. Okay, so is... Right, now I've got the keys to the basement. Hmm... Whoever that was, I don't think they're here anymore. Right, close the door. I can't lock the door. God damn it. Right, okay, we're going to have a look at this basement. Don't need this at the moment, but I will, I think, in the basement itself. This seems alright. I, I quite like this, yeah. This is the second in the Cursed Enigma series. I did play the first one, but I don't think I actually made a video on it, because, well, there wasn't a great deal to it, really. But this is certainly an improvement. So around here, okay, what's going on down in the basement then? We're about to find out, okay, an oppressive atmosphere immediately. I've got myself a crowbar, right, let's see then, who am I going to whack? <laughs> Anyone down here? Right. Let's see. Was that me? Or someone else? Can't open the drawers here by the looks of it. Maybe someone shut the power off to my apartment from down here. Oh! Right, that's what the crowbar's for. And hey, I'm a smart protagonist. I don't just drop it. I keep it with me. Right. Let's move on. Another one? Okay. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm making all those creaks. Right. More frames and paintings of stairs, ladders. Right, yeah, okay, okay. We're just we're just breaking into different people's storerooms, I think. Maybe maybe I've got one down here, you know? Or Eduardo had one. This is actually quite creepy. Right, this way? Alright. Are these like vivariums? For the, the insect guy, right? Yeah, there you go. Oh. What have we got down here? Guido, I'm aware that you've kidnapped my cat. There's no use trying to hide it. I have no idea what motivation you may have for such a despicable act, but please, return my Lulu to me immediately. Don't think this will end well for you or your disgusting animals. Awaiting your response, Luciana. Right. Okay, it looks like we're going this way. Do not enter. Sorry, I've got to. Okay. Oh. What have we got here? Oh god, there are hidden cameras in the apartments. Someone is spying on us, but who? Right. Which one's mine? I don't know. There's the there's the guy with the frames, right. I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out who's not getting spied on. Hmm. Could be the crazy cat lady, I'm not really sure. Got anything else around here? Any more notes? There's a bed down here. Are they living? Oh look, bed's down here. What? Oh, it can't be. That's me. Someone's spying on me. Right. There's a note down here. A diagnostic report. Antonietta Provenzani. Okay. The patient presents symptoms consistent with the unique syndrome that we've identified as obsessive love syndrome, OLS. OLS is characterized by a pattern of obsessive and recurring thoughts centered around a specific person, accompanied by an intense and irrational romantic attraction, compelling the patient to do anything to possess the subject. No. 
The patient also appears to demonstrate the ability to change the person to whom they are affectionate and obsessed with rapidly and frequently. Right. So is it Antonietta that we need to be worried about here? Yeah, okay. There is another door through here, isn't there? Oh dear. I have got to get out of this basement. I have to call for help as soon as possible. As soon as I've had a look in here. <laughs> Priorities, right? Priorities. Look at all this blood. The mattress down here. Someone was like... Some was kept down here, I think. Locked away. Eduardo, maybe? Okay, I I think we've seen everything that we can see down here. I think we just need to leave, don't we? Why do I feel like I'm gonna get fucking ambushed? Probably because I am, honestly. Okay. Right. Ah! Oh, oh, right. There you go. Who is that? Marcello? Oh. Oh, I'm in this room. Oh, hello. Don't worry, sweetheart. Daddy won't hurt you. <laughs> right. I'm sure he won't. Jeez. Damned. Why? Why? Why did you stick your nose in our business? Everything was going fine. Yes, I secretly record your homes. I need money, you understand? Do you have any idea how much they pay for those videos? You can't understand. Antonietta is sick. She needs my help. I can't let you take her away from me. You're like him. He didn't want to understand, and look what happened. She needs me, and I'll do everything to help her. She's the only person I have left. I'm really sorry, but you have to disappear. Please, no. Oh no. Please. Oh, oh, what? Did she just kill her dad? Oh god, wait. It, does that mean that she's like obsessed with me now? Where the hell did the body go? I have to call for help. I have to find a solution before it's too late. Right. Okay. What is all this? I guess that's tied to me, isn't it? Right. Okay, if we break the pipe, yeah. Maybe someone can hear that? No one can hear you here. Many have tried before, she says, whispering from the darkness. Don't worry, sweetheart. I'll take care of you. <laughs> I wish you wouldn't. <laughs> oh, jeez. Are you taking pictures of me again? How many do you need? Oh? Oh, really? That's where it ends. Just as it was getting good. Okay, well, there you go. That was Cursed Enigma Episode 2, The Midnight Apartment. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video, alright? I thought that was alright, but it's a shame it ended there. I would have liked to have played another 10, 15, 20 minutes of that and got a, a proper conclusion. Like, maybe a, a, a failed escape attempt? Well, I guess that, that's kind of what it was at the very end, wasn't it? I guess I'm just condemned to live down there in the dark for the rest of my existence. Getting looked after by her. Very dark ending. Yeah, very dark ending. The game's left me wanting more, but not necessarily in a good way. I don't know if that conclusion's satisfying for me. Overall, though, I did enjoy the game. Uh, the way it looked, I quite liked, but I would have liked an option to give myself a little bit more clarity, make it a little bit more clearer. Um, I like the audio, I like the setting, the environment, I like the, the eerie, creepy atmosphere, meeting the sinister neighbours, getting settled in. It was pretty good. I just wanted to play a little bit more of it, you know? So, uh, yeah. Overall, not too bad. And I'm actually quite curious as to see what the Cursed Enigma series has in store for us next. I'll keep my eye out for episode 3. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Maybe apartment 5's in here somewhere? Although probably not. Oh. <laughs> well, to be honest, I might be sleeping down here if I can't find it. Alright, we're in. Home. Sweet home. Hmm. Have I got a spoon? I <laughs> or a straw? I don't know.
Let's have a look at the rest of the place. I think that's the rest of the place. <laughs> oh, that's something, I suppose. Friendly neighbour. Okay. Would you like to see my collection of insects? Not really, no. But I guess I didn't say that. Oh. Oh. Can't use that one. Oh, there's more cats. Oh! <laughs> Is anyone there? What the- Whoa! I have to call for help as soon as possible. As soon as I've had a look in here. <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm gonna get fucking ambushed? Right. Ah! Oh, 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 right. Don't worry, sweetheart. I'll take care of you. I wish you wouldn't. 